over. They're all gone. Frank, it's time. It's time you say what happened. <laughs> Frank, I want you to meet my cousin, Russell Buffalino. Better watch. There's a lot of tough guys around here. Did he tell you? You're not afraid of tough guys, are you? Yeah. I didn't think so. I was one of a thousand working stiffs until I wasn't no more. You got a good friend here. You don't know how good a friend you got. Russell, he took a shine to me right away. After a while, he started giving me little things to do. I know you read a lot of things about me. I just want to say I'm sorry. I know I wasn't a good dad. I know that. I know that. I was just trying to, to protect all of you. From what? You didn't see what I see, what I've been through. A friend of ours is having a little trouble. A friend at the top. Hiya, Frank. This is Jimmy Hoffa. Glad to meet you. Big business and the government is on the attack. You want to be a part of this fight? A part of this history? Whatever you need me to do, I'm available. Only three people in the world have one of these. And only one of them is Irish. You know how strong I made you? I know things they don't know I know. He said that? You sure he said that? I'm worried nobody threatens Hoffa. I got records, I got tapes. They're done. I had to put you into this thing. Sooner or later, everybody put here as a date when he's gonna go. I know how you feel, Frank. Trust me, I know how you feel. We'll bring you back after you get your car. This is Meg, Amy, Beth, and Joe. I'm working on a novel. It is a story of my life and my sister's. Make it short and spicy. And if the main character is a girl, make sure she's married by the end. Ow, That's Joe! I want to be an artist in Rome and be the best painter in the world. That's what you want too, isn't it, Joe, to be a famous writer? Yes, but it sounds so crass when she says it. My girls have a way of getting into mischief. Well, so do I. This is Meg, Amy, Beth, and Joe. I intend to make my own way in the world. No one makes their own way. Least of all a woman. You'll need to marry well. But you are not married, aren't you? Well, that's because I'm rich. Joe, would you like to dance with me? I can't because I scorched my dress. And Meg told me to keep still so no one would see it. I have an idea of how we can manage. Joe is a lost cause. So you are your family's hope now. I believe we have some power over who we love. It isn't something that just happens to a person. I think the poets might disagree. We can leave right now. I'll sell stories. Joe. And you, you should be an actress and you should have a life on the stage. Just because my dreams are different than yours doesn't mean they're unimportant. I have hey. loved you ever since I've known you, Joe. I couldn't help it. It would be a disaster if we It would be a disaster. Okay? We'd be miserable. Joe, we would be a perfect I saint. I can't. A new play written by Miss Joe March. <laughs> Women, they have minds and they have souls as well as just hearts. I want to be great or nothing. And they've got ambition and they've got talent as well as just beauty. And I'm so sick of people saying that love is just all a woman is fit for. I'm so sick of it. So, who does 
you see Mary? My mother always tells me to smile. Is it just me? Or is it getting crazier out there? Man. Today you boys will be involved in such activities as four games. I don't think I can do this. You got me in so much trouble. Oh You're growing up too fast. Ten-year-olds shouldn't be celebrating war and talking politics. They could look just like us. Hi. Sheesh, ah! that was intense. Love is the strongest thing in the world. Oh, God. I'm Rick Dalton. It's my pleasure, I'm Mr. Schwartz. I'll be my friend. That's your son? No, that's my stunt double, Cliff Booth. Buddy, order from Sauerkraut! Call you Nazi bastards! <laughs> Last night, we watched a Rick Dalton double feature. <laughs> All the shooting. I love that stuff here, though, with the killing. A lot of killing. So you still direct, huh? Still here. You can do anything you want to. I hired you to be an actor, Rick. Not a TV cowboy. You're better than that. Blind. Don't you forget it. <laughs>